Can everybody hear me? Yeah. I'll apologize. I was trying to get my tie on before the show, and I got rushed by a liberal idiot, and she said I had to come out, but I apologize for the appearance. Uh, well, it is great to be back. Um, I just have to thank you guys for coming out because this crowd is huge, just huge. You know, the only thing, the only thing I like more than a good crowd is a good poll. And believe me, after this contest, after I win this contest, the polls are going to go up big league. Trust me. <laughs> I just have to take care of one thing. You judge, you post over there. When you announced me, did you really call me Barack Obama? I mean, listen, I know that people, great people, say <laughs> that orange is the new black, but do I look like I was born in <laughs> I mean, I get it. Accidents happen. I mean, that's how Nagel was born, so I understand. <laughs> it's true. I know she didn't like that one, but I call her. There's a reason why I call her the dishonest Miss Nagel, because she tells her class that she was wanted, but she was really an accident, believe me. <laughs> you two? You're fired. Well, you know, it is great to be back here at the Westwood Regional High School. Last year, I stood on this very stage as candidate Donald Trump. And tonight, I am back. I know, it's pretty funny that you guys didn't take me seriously last year, but now I'm back. I am back as President Donald J. What the hell? Not my president. <laughs> McGurk's a little bit insecure in that dress. He looks disgusting. <laughs> he makes Rosie O'Donnell look like a supermodel. <laughs> you know, McGurk, I call him Low Energy McGurk because he's worse than Low Energy Jeb. He's such a total lightweight. This guy, he's, he's so miserable. I mean, you see him in the hall, he's walking like, like his cat just got hit by a Mack truck or something. He's just so <laughs> but, you know, I get it. I really do get it because it's a tender subject and I know you guys, whatever. But, um... Really. So, I, like I was saying, before I was interrupted by a liberal with the IQ of a cinder block. Listen, <laughs> last year I stood on this very stage. As Canada Trump, I told you that already. I know, I know. So, last year I did this competition, and it was a wonderful affair. By affair, I mean like an event, not the type of affair that Bill Clinton had in the Oval Office. <laughs> I had another joke planned, but Miss Coffey didn't let me say it. Okay, I know. Um, but it was a great affair, and I didn't win the competition, even though we all know I should have. I lost to a kid, a total lightweight, by the way. I won't even mention his name because I wouldn't want to offend him. But he, uh, he came out in this ugly blue and white skirt. Uh, he sang a song about rainbows. He had a horrible voice. And the guy was probably deaf. At least he was tone deaf, that's for sure. But, and he came out with this disgusting puggle from China. And you, you guys were there last year. It's so disgusting, this dog. The ugliest creature I've ever seen. I mean, this dog was uglier than Michelle Obama. <laughs> Which is, that's got to be put in the Guinness Book of World Records because Michelle Obama sets the bar pretty high, we all know that. And, you know, as much as people like Michelle, personally I don't like her very much, but a lot of people like her. I think she's highly overrated and she definitely wouldn't be my first choice, believe me. But, um, you know, just watch, you turn on the Clinton News Network later and the fake news media will say something stupid like, Oh, Donald Trump doesn't like Michelle Obama because Donald Trump doesn't respect women. Which is a total lie. Because... Nobody has more respect for women than I do. <laughs> it's true. If I didn't respect women, I wouldn't have married three different ones. <laughs> I mean, by the next election, I'm going to be on my sixth wife, okay? I'm going to have more wife than I have children, okay? And I have a lot of children. I love my children. <laughs> but, I mean, just the fake news media will go insane. But, I mean, you can tell. You can look at videos, things that I've said about women. Everybody knows how much I love women. Because, you know, if Michelle Obama were here tonight, which she's not because she's probably out playing golf somewhere with Barack, but if she were here tonight, I would bring her up on the stage and I, and I would grab her by the... I'd grab her by the hand. <laughs> and I would say, you know, Michelle, I really don't like you, but I respect you. But, you know, this whole issue with Michelle Obama and the lies that are spewed out by the liberal media every day is just another way of the media portraying the propaganda throughout the country. This, the set of lies about Michelle Obama, is almost as big as the single lie that Barack Obama was born in the United States, because we all know he wasn't born here. There's no way in hell he was born here, because Obama looks about as Hawaiian as I look Japanese, okay? And look, do I look Japanese? Believe me, I'm not Japanese. 
You know, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love Japan. There's so many wonderful people in Japan. I get my TVs from Japan. I have hotels in Japan. I have golf courses in Japan. And I love sushi. And I love going to Kiko on Route 17, but I'm not Japanese. <laughs> and I know that. You know, I think that even Helen Keller would be able to tell that I'm not Japanese. And Helen Keller is a total lightweight, we all know that. <laughs> I know Nagel didn't like that one very much. She's cringing. Look at that, dishonest Miss Nagel. Your head is in that. that face is worse than the face that she made in election night when I won it in a landslide. Because we all know that. But anyway, my time is getting up. I see Miss Kaufman's not very happy. But my time is coming up, so while, I, uh, while you people have to watch the lightweight performances of my competitors, I have to get back to running this great country. But before I go, I want to tell you one thing. My competitors are going to say a lot of things about me, a lot of bad things. <laughs> Don't believe them. And regardless of what they say, know this. Nobody has bigger hands than I have. <laughs> and nobody has a bigger... Uh, she's not going to let me say it, but I think you guys know where I was going with that. <laughs> it's very true, believe me. So, I know Miss, Miss Nagel didn't like that one either. <laughs> but, my time is up, so I'll leave you with this. By working together and by joining forces, we will make America strong again. We will make America rich again. And folks, we will make America great again, greater than ever before. Thank you, and God bless the United States of America.